contemplating the karmic conditions of beings, chapter 3. At that time, the Buddha's mother, Lady Maya, placed her palms together respectfully and asked the Earth Star Bodhisattva, Great Sage, could you tell us about the different kinds of karma that beings of Jambu Vipa create and the resulting retributions that they undergo? Earth Star replied, There are millions of worlds and lands that may or may not have a women, may or may not have house, may or may not have the Buddha drama, and so forth, up to having or not having heroes and Pratyaka Buddhas. Since the worlds differ, the retributions in the house also differ. Lady Maya spoke again to the Bodhisattva. Could you please tell us about the offenses committed by those in Jambu Vipa that result in retributions in the evil destinies? A star replied, Worthy mother, please listen as I speak briefly about that. The Buddha's mother answered, Great sage, please do tell us about it. Then Earth Star Bodhisattva said to the worthy mother, Retributions that result from offenses committed in Jambu Vipa are described like this. Beings who are not filial to their parents, even to the point of harming or killing them, will fall into the relentless hell where for thousands of billions of ants they will seek escape in vain. Beings who shed the Buddha's blood, slander the triple jewel, and do not venerate sutras, will fall into the relentless hell where for thousands of billions of ants they will seek escape in vain. Beings who assert or damage the property of the eternally dwelling, who defy bhikshus or bhikshunis, who commit sexual acts within the Sangha Rama, or who kill or harm beings there, will fall into the relentless hell where for thousands of billions of ants they will seek escape in vain. Beings who seem to be shramanas but in their minds are not shramanas, who destroy the things of the eternally dwelling, who deceive lay people, who go against the precepts and who commit many other evil deeds, will fall into the relentless hell where for thousands of billions of ants they will seek escape in vain. Beings who steal the wealth and property of the eternally dwelling, including its grains, food and drink, and clothing, or who take anything at all that was not given to them, that was not given to them, will fall into the relentless hell, where for thousands of billions of ants, they will seek escape in vain. Earth Star continued, Worthy Mother, beings who commit such offenses will fall into the fivefold relentless how where they will constantly seek temporary relief from their suffering but will never receive even a moment's relief. Lady Maya further asked Earth Star Bodhisattva, why is that hell called relentless? Earth Star replied, Worthy Mother, all the hells are within the great Iron Ring Mountain, the 18 great hells and the 500 subsequent ones each have their own names. The hundreds of thousands more that also have their own names. The relentless hell is found within a city of hells that encompasses more than 80,000 square miles. The city is made entirely of iron. An unbroken mass of fire extends for 10,000 miles above the city. Within the city are many interconnected hells, each with a different name. There is just one hell called Relentless. Its circumference is 18,000 miles. The wall of that hell is a thousand miles high, totally made of iron, and covered with a fire burning downward that is met by a fire burning upward. Iron snakes and dogs spewing fire rays back and forth, 
along the top of that wall. In that hell, there is a bed that extends for 10,000 miles. One person undergoing punishment sees his or her body covering the entire bed. When hundreds of thousands of people undergo punishment simultaneously, each still sees his or her own body covering the bed. That is how retributions are undergone by those with the same karma. What is more, these offenders undergo extreme suffering. Hundreds of thousands of yakshas and other evil ghosts display fangs like swords and eyes like lightning as they pull and drag the offenders with their brass clawed hands. Other yakshas wield huge iron hole birds that they use to pierce the offender's mouths and noses or stab their bellies and backs. They toss the offenders into the air and then catch them by scoring, scoring them with the harbors or they let them drop onto the bed. Iron eagles peck at the offender's eyes and iron serpents wrap around their necks. Long nails are driven into all their limbs. Their tongues are pulled out, stretched, and then plowed through. Their internal organs are gouged out, sliced, and mised. Moistened copper is poured into their mouths, and their bodies are bound with hot iron. Responses to their karma go on like that throughout hundreds of thousands of deaths and rebirths. They pass through hundreds of millions of ends seeking escape in vain. When this world is destroyed, they find themselves in another world. When that world is destroyed, they pass on to another one. When that world too is destroyed, they move on to another one. When this world comes into being again, they return here. The situation involving relentless retribution for offenses is like that. Moreover, five comic responses account for the name relentless. What are the five? First, it is said to be relentless because punishment is undergone day and night throughout many ends without ceasing for a moment. Second, it is said to be relentless because one person feels it in the same way that many people feel it. Third, it is said that said to be relentless because repeated punishments continue without cease throughout years that stretch into Nayutas of ends. Those punishments are inflicted by instruments of torture such as the forks and clubs or by eagles, serpents, wolves and dogs and or by pounding, grinding, sawing, drilling, chiseling, cutting, and chopping, or by boiling liquids, iron nests, iron ropes, iron asses, and iron horses, or by rawhide strips bound around one's head, and moisted iron poured over one's body, or by meals of iron pallets and drinks of moistened iron. Fourth, it is said to be relentless because all beings undergo karmic responses based on the offenses that they have committed, whether they be men, women, savages, old, young, honorable, or lowly, whether they be dragons, spirits, gods, or ghosts. Fifth, it is said to be relentless because offenders continually undergo 10,000 deaths and as many rebirths each day and night from the moment they first enter this hell and on through hundreds of thousands of ends. During that time, they seek even a moment's relief, but it never comes. Only when their karma is exhausted can they leave the hell and be born elsewhere. A store bodhisattva said to the worthy mother, that is a brief description of the relentless hell. 
if I were to speak extensively about the names of all the implements of punishment in the house and all the sufferings there, I could not finish speaking in an entire hour. After hearing that, Lady Maya placed her palms together, sorrowfully made obeisance and withdrew. Ha ha ha, 